How's it going guys? Chris here with Four Star Ninja Academy. And I'm gonna be giving you the 9U, 11U course demo for Saturday, January 29th, UNAA competition. Starting off with Devil's Alley. Obstacle one. Clear. Obstacle two, grip run. Let's do that. Clear. Obstacle three, let's get shifty. Whoa! All right. Balance is fun. Balance is hard. I don't like that. Balance doesn't make me. Clear. Obstacle four, bullseye special. Clear. Obstacle five, curve bars. Clear. Obstacle six, wing shot without the wing. <sighs> Obstacle seven, six shooter. Obstacle eight, the dog park. No. Obstacle nine, L chimes. Ooh, all right. Clear. Obstacle 10, just do it. Clear. Obstacle 11, Candyland. Coach Chris loves balance. Yep. So much. Clear. An obstacle 12, a tall curved wall. Hey. Hey guys, it's Hannah with Four Star Ninja Academy and I'm gonna be giving you the rules for the 9U and 11U UNAA competition on January 29th. There's gonna be a few changes between the 9U and 11U which I'll mention as we go throughout the course. Some ground rules. All of the point B's are going to turn into point A's, as well as all posts are on, so any vertical posts are on. So you can use those throughout the course. And there are 12 obstacles, 15 points, and the time limit is five minutes. So we are all gonna start on this orange path right here. You can use all of these rings. This is a two-point obstacle, Devil's Alley. 
You are allowed to use the cliffhangers at the top. You do not have to. You'll receive your first point when you hit and make contact with this first bar here. Point B is this gray pad, which is then point A for grip run. When we get to these A frames, you can use the sides and the tops. You are not allowed to use the blue. Pretend that's floor. Flat like the floor, must be the floor. All right, we'll get onto the grips. You can use anything except for the mounting hardware and the straps, so just the cannonballs. We've got cannonballs, rings, we've got a nice little lunch lady plate in the middle there just for some fun. Your point B is going to be this gray pad right here, which then turns into point A for let's get shifty. These do shift back and forth, hence the name. You're allowed to use the PVCs. You are not allowed contact with the weights. This is a two-point obstacle. You will get your first point when you make contact with the first warp wall. Nine you will have another wooden beam like this one, but it will be right here in between the walls. That will not be there for 11 you. Coach Chris demonstrated the 11 you course, so like I said, I'll be mentioning the differences as we go throughout it. And then we're coming over to this warp wall. We're allowed to use only the vertical pieces of wood. These flat pieces are off limits. Again, those would be a fail, consider the floor. Over to this orange pad, which is your point B, into the bullseye special. Sorry, we have a lot of fancy names. You are allowed to use any way you want to, sideways. I would just go for the traditional bottom, that's just me. All, all the way through. Again, you can use this post, you do not have to. Outside, inside, the top, I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Over to this trapeze bar. We're going to dismount to this gray pad, which is again point B and point A for curve bars. We're allowed to use only the metal. This wood, this colored wood is off limits. Hands and feet are allowed on the quad steps. You've got the squishies and the quad steps, but beware these are not very solid, hence the name squishy steps. Over to point B. So here's where we got another change for 9U. 9U will have another pad here. And instead of having the rings hooked in the hooks, they will be magnetized, so you'll jump to them and they'll just drop instead of having to take them out of the cradle. All right, so you are allowed this trapeze bar. This trapeze bar, this trapeze bar is going to be your first point. This is a two-point obstacle of wing shot without a wing. To this trapeze bar, this trapeze bar, all the way to this orange pad is going to be your point B. Then we've got the six shooter. You are allowed to use only the blue bars to spin it all the way. We do have a bigger dismount pad, but beware there is this little step down here. So you're allowed to use both as your dismount pad, but again, just be careful because it is uneven, which is point B and point A for the dog park. You are allowed this ring, this ring. This is a two point obstacle, by the way. The dog ball. 9U is allowed to dismount to this orange pad, which is their first point. 11U, the dog bone is your first point. And then we go over to the squirrel because all dog parks need squirrels, obviously. Where you get to your point B, right here. You are allowed onto the L chimes, one point obstacle, all the wind chimes. You are not allowed the mounting hardware or straps. So, all the way through, you can use these posts. This, all four of the wind chimes are allowed. This post to get to point B of just do it. So, these are wobbly as you can see. So, one thing about this obstacle. If all of it is not up on the slack line, if any part of it is touching the ground, it is not in play. So let's say you stepped out, this fell down, you'd have to send it to the next pad or just do it. So, over to this horse pad. And this blue pad right here is your point B. We'll have some tape lines here so you know that it is a solid square. It's a rectangle, sorry. All right, then we got Candyland. You are allowed this white PVC pipe. You'll roll it over to our gumdrops, hence the name. 
we will have a tape line here to dismount past. If any part of your foot does touch that tape line, it will be considered a fail, so make sure you get clearly across the tape line. Then our last obstacle is a tall curved wall. Nine and 11, you will both have one ring. And then we will have a box on the back of the warp wall to stop your time. Again, the time limit is five minutes. Good luck, everybody.